focus switches back to the Pro 12 this Friday night with the first Welsh derby of the new season when the Dragons visit the Liberty Stadium. Stay with us for our exclusive preview of the game. Tom, you made your first Heineken Cup start as a nine on Sunday. After last season's last minute call up as a wing against Leicester, how did you find the experience? Uh, you know, I really enjoyed being back at nine. That's why I wanted to play in this season. Um, and it was a great test, especially against a side like Northampton. Um, it will bring you know physicality, which I felt the first minute of the game when uh, did get taken out by Courtney Laws. But um, you know, I was really grateful to be selected, and hopefully, you know, I just want to be playing that week in week out. Obviously, there is a sense of disappointment in the group at a second Heineken Cup loss, but no one is thrown in the towel just yet. While well, there's still four games to go. Yeah, um, you know, we are disappointed not to not to get anything from the past two games, but. Like coaches have said, and Alan Wynn's been keep saying to us, um, you know, don't rule ourselves out. Um, we just need to put the performances in now. We do get our chance, so hopefully get a good few games now, going in the Rabo and the LV coming up, and then take our chance in the next Heineken Cup games. Absolutely, you've just said uh, we're switching back to the Pro 12 this weekend, and it's a big Welsh derby uh, match against the Dragons. Um, it's something that will definitely get the boys focused again after last week's disappointment, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, it's nice to be back playing at, in the Liberty Stadium, back at home. We've had great crowds there this year, so hopefully they'll, they'll keep coming and give us the support as the performance they deserve. And um, it will be a local derby, so it'll be a great match for everyone who's playing. Don't forget this week we're counting down to the reveal of our brand new charity jersey. There'll be an online reveal at 5pm this Thursday, so make sure you check out our website. You'll be able to buy the shirt directly online straight away, or you can wait and visit the club shop from 10am on Friday. All proceeds go to Melindra's Victory Over Cancer Appeal, so it's a great cause. We're really looking forward to Friday night's game as we welcome the Dragons. It's the first junior clubs day of the season, so we're going to be joined by lots of clubs from around Australia, as well as those involved in the Ospreys Cup. Um, they'll be doing a special lap of honour around the pitch at half-time, so please make sure you give them a little cheer as they walk past you. As always, the Ozone will be open before the game and we've got some great new activities for you to get involved in. Um, Tesco will be there so you can test your passing skills with them and we'll also be joined by the LC. They're going to be bringing down their really popular dance mats and reaction wall and we've also got quite a few uh, vouchers to visit their water park to give away too, so make sure you come down and get involved. Chris, what is the overriding emotion for a coach after a defeat like that on Sunday against Northampton? And how do you respond to the setback? Yeah, I, I, it was pretty disappointing from a coaching perspective. Um, to not see to see the team not performing is always disappointing, you know, to, to the standards that we set and the expectations that we had going into that game. Um, having said that, you know, there's a lot of positives to take out of that and, and again we've, we've, we've sort of uh, delved down and got the learnings out of that and we've, we're sort of implementing that as we, this week. So disappointed but good opportunity for us to move forward this week. It's crucial that we see the boys bounce back on Friday when we return to the Pro 12 isn't it? Absolutely and, and you know the boys are really excited by that too you know that we've got over the initial disappointment um, you know and I think going zero from two in Europe was you know was nowhere near where we wanted to be um, but the key thing is is that you know as a group we've you know we've strong character and strong culture so to come back and then be able to play the Dragons at home on Friday night is pretty exciting. So, what is the message to the team and to the fans, for that matter, as we prepare for this game? Yeah, well, I think you know, you know, the team's disappointed that we haven't been performing. We know how important the fans are to us, and how important the team is to the fans. And so, again, it's just about making sure that we we get the bits and pieces right in our game so we can perform. And I think you know, from an overall perspective, we want to be challenging in, in Europe and Pro 12. And uh, again, we've just got to keep making sure we're looking for the edge uh, with all things we're doing to find that winning performance. So, you know. There's a lot more to come from this team and uh, you know, we've got a lot of spine, a lot of backbone and we'll be fighting back. Finally, you've been around the camp for a few months now and experienced Pro 12 and Heineken Cup action. What are your impressions of the competition and where the Ospreys are in terms of the two tournaments? 
Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, Pro 12 is, is coming up against the different teams every week and, uh, you know, that's a good, really good challenge in itself. Um, I thought Heineken Cup brought another level and uh, I think from a tournament perspective it's, uh, it's a pretty awesome tournament to have. So, you know, they're both very competitive uh, and awesome to be part of. So, you know, as you say, as a sort of newbie and only been in it a couple of months, it's pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to what's coming around the corner. It's great, thank okay, you. Awesome. Ryan, what's the mood in the camp after Sunday's disappointment in Northampton? Yeah, um, all the guys are a bit disappointed with the result and the way it was. The boys have been a bit more positive, the attitude is a lot better. We feel that um, we felt a lot more confident in the game and our roles and our pattern was a lot better. But again, Heineken Cup, if you lose that, it's very disappointing and uh, don't want to dwell on it too much. Look forward to this weekend now. Absolutely. So how are preparations going for Friday night's game? As any preparation for a big derby game does, everyone's a lot more excited, they look forward to it and the boys are treating it like another Heineken Cup game that everything's building for it, everybody wants to play and just basically put that shit on and prove themselves. Yeah, so we can expect a tough evening with the Dragons enjoying a positive start to the season, so we're going to have to be at our best this Friday? Yeah, they've had a good start to the season, they've got a lot of new faces on the pitch for them and a lot of new sign-ins and we'll be watching the games, they're playing well. They're playing confident and with Lynn as a coach as well. They'll be very elusive with a lot of uh, sneaky things, I suppose, is the way to say it. So uh, we're looking forward to it. We know what to expect and we've done our homework on them again. And we're looking forward to a good game. They're obviously going to bring the game as any Derby get game is. It's always a tough game. It's never an easy game and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, Welsh Derby's always seem to see form go out the window and they definitely bring something special for fans and players. How much are you looking forward to being involved in this one? Yeah, hopefully I'm involved and uh, I look forward to playing if I am. Again, it's... It's more for the public as well, that the, the fans get to see the game. It's, you get to see all the boys who can be selected, the internationals are not selected, and people get to see their own opinion and seeing what boys are on form and how they play against each other. And for the, from the players' point of view, it's your last chance to really prove yourself in that shape before they go off to Autumn Internationals if selected. That's all for now. Don't forget tickets are still on sale for Friday night's big game against the Dragons at the Liberty Stadium. So make sure you pick up your tickets and support the cause.